Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Brigazoids Den. Today, I want to talk about a theory that I've been seeing going around a little bit based off of the last or last week's episode of the Owl House, and this is the Del Clawthorn theory, like. He might be a Witta Bean kind of deal. I don't, I don't know how you would, what you would title it, really. But I've been seeing this kind of going around. I also want to talk about some other Owl House stuff that I, after having more time to watch the episode, I've noticed a few more things. Seen some posts, seen some different observations and things like that from people. And I also want to bring those up. So that will be basically in this video is what I'm going to be doing. Kind of doing a further breakdown of the or of last week's Owl House episode before the new one uh, tomorrow. Which I don't know if it's going to be as uh, story heavy. I, I know that that's the any sport in a storm ep uh, episode where we have uh, Willow learning a new sport and then Hunter goes undercover uh, in Hexide to do something. I think I don't think it was said yet, but um, yeah. So I just kind of want to go over some Owl House stuff from that episode. Go over this huge theory, which will be probably most of the video there. But we'll get to that a little later. We'll start with some kind of miscellaneous stuff that we can just talk about. Uh, uh, right now here. So to start off, we will go with in one of the scenes or shots from the actual episode, we see Philip Wittabean's diary or journal that he has there. And in the, I believe it was the top or upper left hand page, upper left hand corner there, is Philip as well as some other character, some other outline of a character. There's two outlines in black and one of them is of Philip. And another is of a character that looks like Hunter, very similar to Hunter, with the hairstyle as well as the eyes, it looks. And um, clearly this, I would say, is the other Wittabeen brother, but who actually is this brother? Um, which is the real question. We don't actually know who officially it is. But again, like I said, it does have some uh, resemblance to Hunter. It does look a little bit similar to him. So again, this only furthers a the theory that perhaps Hunter is a Grimwalker, and he is going to be like the replacement brother, because for some reason the other one could not uh, make it to the Day of Unity, of course. Uh, maybe he's dead, maybe, you know, we'll get into that later here in the video with this theory. And then another little miscellaneous thing or observation was that Philip Wittabeen must have remembered Lilith and Luz going back in time and kind of working with him to get the Collector's Mirror. So perhaps this is why Bellos was a little bit hard on Lilith, while she was in the Emperor's Coven, to kind of do something right, which was to get Ida um, to Bellos so that, you know, they could use her for, or, or um, what was it, what do they call it? Turn someone to stone that's a, uh, uh, at the Conformatorium, I don't remember what the, the term is called, but for Ida to be frozen in stone, basically. And then, perhaps maybe Bellos uh, is, is maybe going to be looking for Luz a little later in the season. I mean, I remember... I think I said in uh, episode 11, there was something along the lines of, like, Bellos wanted to see Luz like, once again or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was there, but maybe that's why, because, you know, he remembers that Luz was, uh, was the person who went back in time and, like, worked with him, which is very interesting. And it has been confirmed that Philip Wittabeen is uh, officially Bellos, by the way. Just talked about that episode. I know I, I, t I talked about that in... Um, my breakdown, my original breakdown video, but now it's just like, like solidified that that is indeed, Philip is indeed uh, Bellos there. So, uh, then that also raises the question, maybe is that why Luz, I mean, is that why Bellos kind of let Luz go at the end of uh, uh, season one? You know, he got the door, he doesn't need anything else, maybe he still needs her for something, I don't know, like why didn't he just immediately kill her and then take the door? I mean, you know what I mean? So there's definitely some things there to, to think about. Then another thing is that Philip Wittabeen seems to have some sort of glyph tattoo that seems to act like a curse what could this curse be did he try to use glyphs on himself to maybe get magic or something like that um and why would he do that you know so many questions have ar uh, arisen from this this reveal that he is in fact bellos uh emperor bellos has a bump on his nose and it is believed to be because of lilith punching philip back in time so that was another little thing and then another thing I want to mention is I feel like, I believe in the last episode breakdown, I kept saying Dale Clawthorn, and that is not right. It is Del Clawthorn. I don't know why I didn't notice that, but when I did, I was like, oh my god, I just posted the video, and now I realize this. So, Edith's dad's name is not Dale, it's Del. Del Clawthorn, not Dale Clawthorn. Let me just get that out of the way before I continue here, but um, we also learn uh, another thing here is that Del, Del Clawthorn, 
helped Ida to carve Owlbert, which of course is the Palisman of Ida, so perhaps we'll see Ida help carve Luz and King's magic staffs if King gets one, because he's a cloth lord now. Ida was given a Palisman uh, tree seed to get Palistrum wood to make a Palisman. Luz was, Luz was already given Palistrum wood to make her own Palisman, so what is another notable main character that might be getting a Palisman? You know what I mean? So many things there to think about as well, and that was another kind of very small theory that I brought up in my other breakdown video for the actual episode there. Then also Flora Desplora, an owl house version of Dora the Explorer. Hope this character returns for another episode. Seemed pretty interesting, involved with beastkeeping in some ways, so I would definitely like to see this Flora Desplora return, which would be cool. And um, yeah, now I think we're going to get into the main like meat of this video here, talking about the Del Clawthorn theory, which goes pretty deep. There's like a whole iceberg with this situation here. All right, the Del Clawthorn Wittabean theory from last week's episode, episode 12 there. So, if you noticed, in the episode, we had Del Clawthorn as well as Philip Wittabean. Of course, that was, that was kind of like the two, I would say, put it in quotes, kind of new characters that we got to see for the episode. And Del and Philip seem to have a pretty interesting resemblance to each other. Del, as we've seen from uh, Season 2, Episode 8, Season 2A, Episode 8, uh, Del has, like, you know, has orange hair, but it also looks uh, very, very similar to Philip. Kind of has, like, the same hair kind of going on, facial hair, kind of like facial features. Looks pretty similar. So, the theory came up, what if somehow Del Clawthorne is related to Philip would have been in some way? Could he be Philip's brother? And if he is, you know, what, what what happened there? You know what I mean? So just kind of general look. They look pretty similar. Kind of kind of a bit, a bit similar clothes too as well. When we saw um, uh, Del Clawthorne in episode 8, in season 2 episode 8. Um, kind of had some similar clothing to how Philip is dressed in, in this ep er, episode 12, I guess here. So this would be a good connection for Ida and Bellos as well as this would ba basically mean that Bellos would be Ida's uncle and Hunter would kind of be Ida's cousin. Now, there are some holes in this theory, which I will get to, but we'll continue on with like the main part here. So maybe that's why Bellos maybe made Hunter if Dell is in fact Philip's brother because he needs to he needs at least like two people um, for but like Dell would refuse. Maybe Del can't use his magic because of the owl beast hurting him. You know, his hand was shaking and things like that. He needs a cane. His eyes all messed up. Maybe he can't do magic properly. So I think the idea here is that Bellos needs someone who can do magic, which is why Bellos gives Hunter a staff to kind of like learn magic and et cetera, like, and things like that. So I don't know. There's a lot of things going on here, but Del would, would uh, also create Palisman. He was a Palisman creator, it seemed. He had Palisman wood. He had a Palisman seed. And Philip uses Palisman to keep himself young, keep himself surviving in this world. Is there some sort of connection there? Maybe Del took Gwendolyn's last name, Gwendolyn being uh, Ida and Lilith's mother, or Miss Clawthorne, Mrs. Clawthorne. Bel uh, Bellos was cursed by a wild by a wild magic uh, user, got angry, Del liked it and wanted to keep it around. So there's just so many different theories and different ideas that could spawn from this. Like, again, Bellos may have been cursed by wild magic, got angry, Del maybe enjoyed the wild magic and wanted to kind of keep it around, wanted, wanted to to uh, a, explore it a little bit more and use it himself, find a way to use it himself. So, of course, problem with this theory here is that Bellos claims that our family is gone due to wild magic when he was talking to uh, Hunter in episode 6, I believe. So, family is gone due to wild magic. I mean, that kind of I would think that would symbolize like they got they were killed by wild magic but maybe he's referring to the owl beast Ida slicing Dell and making him lose his eye or you know get his eye cut and then have his hand shaking he can't use magic anymore so maybe because you know Lilith cursed Ida that would be considered wild magic I would think maybe and then Ida obviously cutting uh, Dell things like that and maybe he believes Dell is or, or another option is that maybe he believes Bellows believes Dell was killed while in this owl beast uh, encounter here, or maybe Bellos meant that the family got divided because of wild magic um, versus wild magic, like kind of killing the family instead. So maybe Dell would want to pursue it while while Bellos or, or Philip was more against it. He was a little bit jealous that all these witches had um, bile sacks and things like that to actually use um, 
magic, maybe Dell developed one or got one somehow while their very, you know, short stay at the at the Boiling Isles, and then he decided, he's like, oh man, I'll, I'll stay here and just use magic, I, I'll keep going with this, but Philip, who didn't get one, got jealous and maybe was frustrated with him. There's so many, again, there's so many different things here, although another problem here is that Bellos uh, is said to be Hunter's uncle, although that could just be something that he tells Hunter just because, you know, he doesn't want uh, Hunter to... I don't know, maybe get too close. I, I I don't know. I don't know exactly how that would really fall in. But yeah, I, I remember in episode six, Bellos did say, or yeah, Bellos did say something uh, along the lines, or no, Hunter said, called Bellos nephew. That's what, I mean, uh, God, I can't speak today. Hunter called Bellos uncle. So again, maybe that's just kind of, and just a name for him to be called instead of like dad or something like that. I, I don't know, but you know, there, there is that problem there. Um, and then with that problem comes another theory. Dell could actually be Hunter's dad, because it seems Dell's palisman is a yellow bird, as we saw in episode 12 there, when he was giving Ida uh, the palistrum seed, we saw a yellow bird on Dell's shoulder, which looks very similar to the red cardinal bird that Hunter now has as his official palisman, basically. Um... So maybe is that why the Red Bird was interested in uh, being Hunter's palisman? Because Hunter's dad, being Dell, has the Red Bird's dad or something? I, I don't know exactly how that would work. But like, again, there was a yellow cardinal, or not yellow cardinal, but yellow bird that looked very similar to Hunter's bird that, you know, they were both associated with. Maybe that's why the Red Bird was like, oh, it's, you know, it's one of the Clawthorns. It's, it's, um, it's someone who has that, that same, that same vibe, that same feel oh, then I, I must, you know, go over to Hunter and be Hunter's palisman because just like my ancestor, I, I don't know, you know where I'm going with this, but I'm just not explaining it very well. I'm all discombobulated here. And then another problem, Dell looks a little bit older than Philip, maybe because he does not use palisman to survive longer like Dell. I mean, 50 years ago, wild magic was allowed to be used, so I would think the ages match up, but I believe Philip would have been was actually from Winter the Boiling Isles in the 1800s, so there is that problem there. Um, yeah, Dell looks a lot older. I mean, I don't know if it's just because maybe he was cut or something, but he looks a little older than, um, than, uh, uh, Philip. Philip at this point, or Bellos unmasked, maybe. I mean, Bellos does look kind of old, but not, you know, 200 years old. He looks a little bit younger than that. I mean, he would be dead at that point. So, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of different ideas here. And then again, how would Dell really survive that long without consuming Palisman, I would think. So, I don't know, I don't know. There's a lot of questions here, obviously. Um, although I bet there's some way to explain this. Perhaps Dell's ancestor is Philip's brother who died due to wild magic. Philip never found out about Dell existing. Or perhaps it has something to do with the Collector. Um, the Collector seems like it's going to be them. They're going to be a very important character in this show. Especially if we spent the whole last episode trying to get the Collector's mirror and learn about the Collector. So, the Collector is definitely coming. I just don't know exactly when they're going to show up. Um, there are definitely ways to explain this, like, age gap, maybe we just haven't seen them in the show as well, maybe there's some sort of, like, plant track, uh, herb or something that you can eat and you can survive longer or something like that, I mean, Gwendolyn, of course, went through all those different trials and tests to try and get some, uh, stuff to cure Ida, Ida's owl beast form, so maybe that she got something for Dell to survive longer, I, I don't know, uh, there's a lot of questions there, but, there does seem to be a bit of an age difference there. Maybe Dell is the older brother, but then again, you know, Bellos has it looks pretty, pretty much, pretty younger than Dell actually is, or looks at least. So I don't know. And again, how long if if they were there in the 1800s, how long would they have been able to survive? Um, Dell, how long would he be able to survive without consuming Palisman if he was human? So I I don't know. Again, there's a lot to explain here, but I think we will learn a lot in the Hollow Mind episode of season two B where Lu uh, Luz and Hunter presumably enter Bellos' mind to understand his past. Of course, we saw that very uh, quick scene in the little 30-second teaser trailer that had some sort of purple version of uh, what seemed to be a young child with a wooden mask that looked very similar to Bellos. This is most likely Philip would have been as a kid, or maybe even Philip's brother, who knows? This unknown character who we haven't seen in the show yet. But again, there are holes in this theory, but could it be true? Could Dell really be Philip's brother? Philip's uh, grandson, I, I don't know, it could be, could be anybody, it could be some sort of 
connection there, but it would be a pretty interesting theory just to kind of tie everybody together, you know, all our characters together, have the, the Clawthorns and the Widow Beans kind of have this kind of um, unknown connection that they wouldn't have been able to find out about unless, you know, Luz came and, and did all these different things and, and decided to challenge the Emperor's Coven, so... Overall, very interesting thing to think about, and I've been thinking about it for a little while, as you can tell by this this video here, the length of this video. So, yeah. So, I think that's it. So, if you enjoyed that video, do the comment YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.